Hi, my name is Abigail Wanick, and I go to North Rose Walcott High School in North Rose, New York. Patriotism means to stand by the country. It does not mean to stand by the president. These are the wise words of Teddy Roosevelt, a man who became president through the assassination of William McKinley, but won a second term in office thanks to his hard work and the energy that he brought to politics. Roosevelt continued, it is patriotic to support him insofar as he efficiently serves the country. It is unpatriotic not to oppose him to the exact extent that by inefficiency or otherwise, he fails in his duty to stand by the country. These words published in 1918 ring as true now as they did then. As we look back on a president who incited violence and whose supporters followed him so far as to worship him and threaten democracy, we turn to these words and wonder how Roosevelt could prove so relevant in today's politics. And his relevance doesn't stop there. One of Roosevelt's most well-known accomplishments as president was his square deal in which he aimed to conserve natural resources, protect consumers, and control corporations. All three of these are very progressive ideals that we still strive for today. Roosevelt said, there's clearly need of supervision, need to possess the power of regulation of these great corporations through the representatives of the public. This trust busting attitude has continued into the 21st century, not only through government action, but also through the actions of regular people. In late January, the internet and news alike were abuzz with the story of GameStop, and more specifically, with how a group of amateur stock traders were messing with the stock market in an attempt to hurt major hedge fund corporations. They were successful in standing up for the common man and hurting corporate America in very much the same way that Teddy Roosevelt gave justice to the people through his antitrust acts, giving him his reputation as a trust buster. A second major part of Roosevelt's square deal was conservation of natural resources. The National Reclamation Act of 1902 was the first major legislation of his presidency and worked on large scale irrigation projects out west to help save arid lands. Roosevelt also set aside around 200 million acres of land for national forests, wildlife refuges, and reserves. This was almost five times the amount of land set aside by every previous president combined. Roosevelt understood how important our environment is, and this sentiment is more important in the 21st century than ever before. We are in a race against global warming and climate change, and we need to pour our efforts into ways to help stop these. While this might look a little different now than setting aside land, we should work to find renewable and sustainable energy sources, slow the consumption of plastic, and stop deforestation. If we can accomplish, accomplish these, we can preserve the environment that Roosevelt knew was of the utmost importance. Teddy Roosevelt matters in the 21st century because he was a vivacious fighter that never gave up. While campaigning in Milwaukee for the 1912 election, Roosevelt was shot in the chest but despite having a bullet lodged inside of him, he continued on to give a 90 minute speech. If 2020 wasn't a shot to the chest, I don't know what was, but still, despite everything that's happened, we have continued on. We have persevered just like Roosevelt did over hundred years ago. His fighting spirit is reflected in the spirit of America, a spirit that nothing can change, not even a global pandemic. Looking ahead to the rest of the 21st century, it's hard to say what will come our way. We have seen a year filled with things that we never thought we would see. And it's scary to think that there might be more to come. However, if we follow the legacy of Teddy Roosevelt, if we walk softly and carry a big stick, fight for what we believe in, carry ourselves with energy and charisma, and most importantly, do what we can with what we have where we are, we are sure to not only survive the 21st century, but thrive in it. Thank you.